up support God's people um, in the direction that they need to go. How do you know that? How that's, you your, know? that's your that's your point. And also, wait a minute, and also okay. another piece of that <laughs> is to to bring revelation to other people okay. through that. Okay. How um, do you know? Because I've been placed in situations, in uh -huh. places, I mean, it, that's just where I am drawn to. Okay, so so do you just op operate on what you're drawn to, or do you research that what you're drawn to? I research it. I mean, I, I read the word. I pray. I You apply. So, so you believe that your purpose is truth, according to the word of God, and according to what God has said to you through his word? Yeah. So what would cause you to be hesitant once again? and not know what your purpose is. If you know. I didn't, again. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, in general, what would cause, what I'm saying is. Not doing those things, not seeking. Yeah, because, and I'll use myself with you. Because she was, I still, I tell her in my heart, she's always my boss, but not in church. I'm taking <laughs> some tea. But, but the thing is that, that what I pick up from her, and, and, it, and I get frustrated because I can't speak of certain things in the license department because I really don't know. Now, just because I am the licensing person, I got, it's right on my bed. <laughs> it does not mean that I'm sure about my call and my purpose. Just because you have an ushering, we could have asked you to usher. And you're good at, 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 at ushering. You're good at, you're good at ushering. Why? That doesn't mean that that was your purpose. It is to magnify God. It is to be obedient. It is to serve. But how many of us have, uh, we wear the uniform, we wear it on the outside, but we really don't know what it takes to be in the position that we and so when I go to her and ask a question, she stops me and says, is this a licensing question? Uh, because, or, or, and, and she phrases it in a way, is this a question that I can go to the book and look at myself? Or is this a question because I just don't understand? Amen. We got those types of people in the church that won't read the word. Criticize it, run from it, dip it down. They won't read it. And then we have some that read it, but don't understand how to apply it. That's two different people. And so what keeps me, and when I go into a, a, a place that could be licensed of people or not licensed of people, it keeps me silent because I don't know, really know, what I'm talking about. I got the badge. I look like I'm a professional, but I haven't studied. I haven't insulted God. I haven't uh, consulted God. I really am unsure of who I am. Have you ever seen people that know who they are and you can try to throw everything against them? They know who they are. Mm -hmm. Amen. you got people that can go in a group, a setting, and they'll say, if you go in there, you're not going to come out the same. you got people that can go in that setting where everybody else has converted to that setting, but they come out still holding their own. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So, as people of God, and as you say, you have to know who you are in God. We don't know who we are in our purpose because we really don't know God. And I know that's a hard saying because it, it deals with me. Amen? It works on me. Why would I get intimidated in a group of people, a group of pastors and preachers, if we serve the same God? And if I know who my God is and I know what I've been called to do, it's not a matter of me being pompous, but it's me knowing who I am because I know who God is. And if I stand up and present a message or whatever I present, you may not like it, you may disagree, but I'm going to make sure I line up with God. That's Stephen about it. We just talked about Stephen. Mm -hmm. We got to know who we are. Mm -hmm. When we don't know who we are, we don't know who God is. And when we don't know who God is, why are we coming to his house to worship him? The, uh, we, if we don't know who we are, 
in this church hop. Because you end up picking, in, picking up a little bit of what they have. And if you don't know who you are and what you stand for, you'll pick up things you never thought mm -hmm. you would do. That's the same way in the world. But many times we, we, we get offended and we get uh, words like this. Either we operate in faith or we operate in fear. Can we operate in the middle? Does anybody operate in the middle? Because God certainly doesn't approve middle operation. I'm not talking about being a mediator. I'm not talking about, you know, praying on behalf of somebody else. I'm talking about we're trying to live faith and fear. We as people of God will be more effective when we know who God is in turn, know who we are, and we commune with God and commune with God, and we know what our purpose are and what we're supposed to be doing. It's a roundabout thing to worship Him. It's a roundabout thing to serve Him, to be available for Him. It's roundabout. We're supposed to love everybody. We're supposed to treat our enemies right. But what is it that He has specifically for you to do when you leave the doors? When you go and buy bread, is it for you to go buy bread, or is it somebody waiting to hear words from you? And like she said, when we learn what we're supposed to do, it's going to come easy. We may not like it, but it comes easy. Why do people flock around? Why do you always have to be in the middle of chaos to bring peace? Why do you have to uncover that, that stuff you don't look for? It finds you. Your purpose and what you do, it's going to find you. You may not like it. You need to consult God about it. But God has placed it on you. That's why they flock. It ain't you. It ain't where we look. It ain't where we do this. It's not the way we do that. How we speak. This is your purpose. Amen. And if we would learn to get with God and learn our purpose and operate in faith, and I'm talking to myself, in less than fear. Because fear controls. What is the control? It controls what I'll say. It controls what I'll do. It controls how I feel. It controls what I'm going to be here and I'm going to do. Just do a great speech. I'm going to cut some out because I know people ain't going to agree with what I say anyway. Faith guides. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Fear controls. Mm -hmm. I looked at Obama last night. I said, if you don't say nothing, me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Because he knows. He knows. You know what? I don't care about a lot of uh, candidates that have not operated in the seat of a president. One knows and one can go by what he sees and what others know. Mm -hmm. You have experience. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'll tell you guys as, as a church, as a man, you'll hold your head up high. Because what God has placed in you, he's placed in you. Not a man. And I love Mr. Carter, but Mr. Carter can't place stuff in you. Mm -hmm. God has to do it. But we got people that are not sure of what they are to do and who they are. But seek God first. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why I tell you, we got, we're not going to be a church, a movement that operates in fear. Mm -hmm. if, if, if folks come in here and the spirit is high and that's what we need and you know your purpose. Now, your purpose, when you operate in the spirit, will not allow you to be unseen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But your purpose when spirit, when, and you know, you know when God tells you to do something, you know it. And if you sit there long enough, he'll send somebody else to do it. Because God is doing a quick work. But even in here, I have no problems in leadership. If the spirit is high, he tells you to go lay hands and pray with somebody. Somebody needs to be delivered. But fear will keep me in the seat. And not only will they not get what they need right then, but you won't. Amen. 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 Folks that are givers. Don't say, no, no, I don't want it, no, no, take it, because that's part of their gift. Amen. That's part of their purpose to give. Amen. Amen. And so even here, we have to know who we are. And most importantly, who, he's, who we are. Because he defines who we are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when you find this, I mean, you know your purpose, your purpose, you're passionate about it. Yeah, that's it. it. You don't. And you just all that. It just comes to you to do it. It's so I, it. But so I, I'm hesitant to hold my hand up. But I knew what my purpose was. It's there. That's it. And, and so it's I'm saying. It is there. Just that little bit. If he can just, just, just put a little bit down. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Listen. <laughs> if you will look at faith, how much faith does it take to, to move?
move a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> 